Hey designers and welcome back. In today's video, I want to show you how you can add over 1400 font awesome 5 icons to your website using Elementor. You can do this using the free version of Elementor. So it's not necessary that you have the pro version installed. Elementor currently supports icons, but I think it has a previous version of font awesome, which is around 3.6 or something. And today we're going to add font awesome 5.6 version icons. There are literally tons of icons to choose from. And this is just a cheat sheet. I'll show you how to do it using Elementor. In order to show the font awesome icons, you need to add a little piece of code. You can do that using HTML widget of Elementor and make sure if your icons are just placed after this particular widget because this particular script needs to be called before those icons can be displayed to the user. So there's another way and it's actually recommended way of doing it. It's by using a WordPress plugin. So just type for header and insert this plugin right here which is called insert headers and footers by WP beginner. It's quite a popular one. Install it and activate it. So once you install and activate headers and footers plugin by WP beginner, head over to settings where you can find insert headers and footers. Just click on that. This plugin can also be used to insert Google AdSense, Google analytics code. So if you are looking for some viable solution, this is quite a popular one. So you can copy your link here. Just copy that and save it. You can simply remove this now as this is no longer needed. And I have my WordPress security plugin and it's trying to block this action. I can just simply whitelist this action and I can refresh this. Remember when I whitelist this action, I need to repeat it. So I'll click on save again just to make sure. And now my header is set. This code is set. You can simply start using font awesome five icons. And the next thing that you need to do is to insert code to display icons. Don't worry. It's not a big code. It's basically the same pattern code. The only thing you'll have to change is the value of or the name of that particular icon. I'll show you how in a bit. Since icons are often used with text, let's add a heading widget. So I'll say some text. And above this, I want my icon font awesome five icon. So the widget that you want to drag is called HTML widget. So drag and drop it. And you need to paste this piece of code that I'm going to show you. And just like that, your icons appear. So the only thing that you want to change here is this. This is basically the name of your icon. So if you want to add another icon, just head over to fontawesome.com forward slash cheat sheet. And here you'll find various icons that you can basically use. So let me copy, let me copy this particular name here. And you can see that icon appears there. Let me duplicate it three times so that you can clearly see it. So there are my icons. Now I want to change the icons in the second column. So I'll just go to cheat sheet. Maybe I'll clock with that. So I'll copy few more icons from the cheat sheet which is available at font awesome. Maybe I'll copy this beer icon. So I'll just paste it there and you can see that beer icon appears over there. And in this column, maybe I'll change this baby to something else. So I'll just go over, I'll replace it with bookmark maybe. So I'll just replace this clock with bookmark. And you can see that appears over there. It's as simple as that. But wait, there's a lot more that you can do with icons. So this is just to add icons to your website. But what if you want to style it? You can do it 
with font awesome there are few particular methods that you need to apply to style these icons i'm going to show you exactly those right now there's one more thing you can change here which is this letter fa stands for font awesome and r stands for regular and s stands for solid so you can see the difference between those two regular is the one without the fill and solid is the one that has a fill inside so that's what it is so you can basically copy any icon name from the cheat sheet and remember that only few icons have regular versions and most of the icons have solid versions so it's all up to you just go ahead and play with the cheat sheet and see which all avail icons are available in regular format as well and there are few other variations that are available in the pro version i'm not exactly going to show you the pro version because it's really not necessary you can do so much with the free version of font or some five icons itself maybe the icons are too small or maybe you want to change the color to a different one you can do that simply by applying something which is called inline styling what exactly is inline styling well it's exactly css but applied just within the element so th this is just another way of applying css don't worry i'll just paste the code in the description down below so make sure you check that out so when i say color and when i give it a value you can see that icon changes to blue and let me copy this code over here So when I change that to red, you can see the second icon changes to red. So let me copy the style to each other, every other icon. So you can change the color simply by saying by changing the value here. That's all you need to know. Click the icon and just change the color to maybe blue again. And just like that it changes to blue so the third row is all changed to blue this is all red this is blue and red you can see the icons clearly now now let's make the icons a bit bigger because they're too small to view so you can make the icon bigger simply by specifying a property called font size we are familiar with this because we've used that in our tutorials so it basically increases the text size and simply type font size and give it a value again this code will be available to you in the description so you can play with this code a bit you can give it different values maybe in pixels maybe this can be 90 pixels and that can be 60 pixels so font awesome icons have a property called font size so You can just say fa and give a value and the values are fa xs fa small and fa large fa 1x 2x and a lot more and this can be added right within the class name so right within the quotations you can put this so you can give any value from 1 to 10 followed by an x or you can say large lg and you can see how that changes let me quickly copy all the properties to that basically these are set of icons these are basically all the same icon but styled with this property which is the size property xs small stands for extra small sm stands for small lg start stands for large and there can be any number from 1 to 10 followed by x so that will basically make it 10 times larger, 2 times larger or based on the container. So you can see various sizes of that particular icon when you just add a simple prefix. You can also animate these icons simply by adding few more prefixes. So the prefixes are FA Pulse and FA Spin. So let me copy this and paste it under this one. And you can see how this largest icon animates. 
let me add another animation which is FA pulse you can see how that animates in sets of 8 I think spin looks better what do you think so simply by adding FA size and FA spin or pulse you can make all the icons bigger and you can also animate them at the same time you can also flip or rotate the icons simply by saying FA rotate and specify a value for rotation so if you say 90 degrees it will be rotated around 90 degrees from its original position and if you say flip it will basically flip that particular icon when you say horizontal it will flip the icon horizontally and when you say vertical does that vertically which is the case with this big one so just said fa rotate 180 so it it basically rotated this thing by 180 degrees and this size is responsible for the size of this particular icon all these things will be in the description or in the first comment so make sure you check that out if you're tired by now it's good if you're not because there's a lot more you can do and let me show you what else you can do with these font awesome icons you can also stack icons and in order to stack icons which means to put an icon inside another you need to have a span you can simply follow the code in the description just copy this and customize the icons and sizes so this is the first example is a stack so you need to add this fa stack leave it as is and you can maybe customize the output size so if you make this small you can see the stacked icon itself becomes small and if you want it maybe 10 times you can do that so the stacked icon becomes 10 times bigger you can also apply the individual property of an icon to this span class so you can apply a style like this so when you say blue the entire stack becomes blue so when you say red the stack turns red so this is how elementor icons work basically that's the internal functionality that we're try basically trying to replicate but with over 1400 icons over here so you can also apply flip to the stack so basically when you say a span and stack that whole thing be behaves as a single icon or a single entity so all the properties that you can apply to an individual icon can also be applied to the stack or the span class so let's maybe rotate this around 180 degrees so I'll say F A um, rotate and 180 and you can see how that stack the whole thing is rotated so you can apply all those and you can also apply animation to the entire stack so you can say FA pulse and that applies animation to the entire stack so let's finish this off by applying a spin animation to the last icon so I'll just say if I spin and the icon just spins or the entire stack just spins so there's a lot more you can do with this maybe I'll just give it a style thing as well maybe I'll color it to blue color and you can see how that looks so it changes that to blue color so whatever is inside will be turned to blue color so that's how you do it and this is how you basically style your icons play with it experiment with it and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below everything will be in the description or maybe in the first comment so make sure to look for all this and I'll talk to you in the next video. And that's it for now. And hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.